Hey everyone, Coach James here. Hope you're absolutely thriving. Now, if you see me in this position, struggling and asking for help, help, help me, what comes to mind? Now many of you, for I know those that watch my material are good, kind souls, and in your eagerness to help, you will rush to my aid. And yet, if you could but see my feet, they're firmly planted on the ground. I don't need any help. I've got comfortable just complaining. If I just let go, I'm fully supported. And like so many people in life, so many people are complaining and they're asking for help and yet they're not helping themselves first and foremost. This is an important distinction because as many of us as coaches and as teachers, are the people that we are rushing and seeking to help, are they truly helping themselves? You know, life meets us halfway. God loves a trier. And like I say to my clients, I can't do your push-ups for you. I can encourage you, sure. I can motivate you, yes. I can support you and provide inspiration. And yet, you've got to put in some work. So if you've got comfortable if you've got comfortable complaining, complaining in a certain position, and yet you've got the ability and the wherewithal to stand up on your own two feet and to go out there and claim what's yours, then don't sit around complaining and wonder why life isn't supporting you. There's a time to ask for help, yes. But in, in the very nature of doing that, there's at least some action being taken. But notwithstanding the main point, you've got two feet, stand up on your own, go out into the world and go after with great enthusiasm, confidence and motivation that which you say is important to you. Yes, you can ask for support and encouragement along the way, but get started. This is your reminder. If you have been looking for a sign, consider it this. With that being said, look after yourself. You are unstoppable and I believe in you.